Mother Nature usually determines March to be sap season, but this week's sunny, warmer days, along with colder nights, will have the sap flowing. 7 News reporter Lexi Bruning is with a maple producer tonight, learning the science behind the sap. We don't have steam hoods, so everything just kind of flows into the air. The smell of sap and fresh brewed coffee literally fill the air, because when the conditions are just right, Paul Haldman with Zor Tapa Tree works about 20 hours a day. We only put in a portion of our taps. So right now we we have about 800 taps in. While it's not the earliest Haldman has produced sap, he says it's the most he's seen for February. Today's going to be a good flow day <laughs> for sure. We're getting uh, about 500 gallons a day as of, of sap as it flows. Yeah, so that's that's a good volume for this time of year. The science behind the sap is in the temperature, below freezing temperatures at night and above freezing temperatures during the day. When it thaws out is that there's actually pressure created with inside the tree. So if you put a pressure gauge in that tree when it first thaws out, it can be like 20 or 25 PSI within that tree, which is pretty incredible to think about. Like that's almost your car tire pressure. Tampa tree has around 20,000 trees and hundreds of miles of tubing. 6,000 are typically tapped per season. As you can see, the early season is a lighter syrup. It's likely these conditions won't last through the end of the month, so Haldeman is saving a majority of his trunks for March. By March, we'll be slowing down significantly. We won't be getting much from them. That's why we save a lot of taps. We have uh, trees to tap um, later in the season. While it's an early start for some producers, Wild says it's hard to predict what the rest of the season and its temperatures will bring. Lexi Bruning, 7 News.